it is believed that the officer, accompanied by two of his colleagues, one going by the name Shorty, were undercover and were not in possession of a warrant of arrest when Dalseb was confronted. The mother of the late Dalseb expressed her deepest disappointment in the way her son was treated, telling Today on One that incidences like these happen often in Damara location. The child asked, why are you beating me? Just arrest me. Why are you beating me? He was willing to be arrested, but they still beat him and killed him. It's unfair. The deceased sister said that she heard the commotion happening in the street, only to discover that her brother was being manhandled by the officer. She told Today and One that she was kicked in the face when she asked the officer to stop hurting her brother. While I was in the house, all I heard was noise, people were screaming and everything. So someone came there and they told me that your brother is fighting, your, bro your brother is fighting. And then I stood up and then I ran down here. So when I came here, because we were together and then he just came down to come get something. So, and then in the process he stood here with the street boys. So when I came down, they were beating him. I came and then I asked the police officer, what's going on, why are you beating the boy? And then he kicked me in my face. All I did was ask. And that's when my brother said, my sister, you are kicking my sister. But why? And then he brought him closer to the side and then he put point him and then shot him there and he, he pushed him away after shooting him. The first police car came. They didn't even look at my brother's body. All they did was speak behind with the police officer that shot him. They were probably they spoke there with himself and then they just took him and drove off without saying anything, not even looking at him, asking any of us what happened. They just it's like they saved him and then went. Dalseb's cousin said that he witnessed how everything unfolded, stating that his cousin did not resist arrest as being claimed by police reports, noting that Dalseb was an A student and did not deserve to die in such a manner. And he's, if he's saying he was stabbed, it was the bottle that was thrown from the crowd. It was the bottle that was thrown from the crowd that hurt him. It was not the boy because the boy was on handcuffs. There was no way that the boy could have hurt him. From there, they brought him here. At that time, there was no one around him because he was having a gun and we all were scared. And they were shooting randomly. And he shot him there without anything, without saying anything. Removed his handcuffs, took him up there and just dropped him. Did not even call for any ambulance. Did not call even for assist. The third one that came with him ran away and the other two just still stood there doing nothing. So we, we do not know as a nation, what, what, as a location, what must we do? Because we're living in fear. These guys, the Friday they did the same thing. They just came undercover. They took him. Apparently he did something. They just took him, put him on a car. Nobody knows where they took him. After an hour, officers come back. They, they want bribes. They want us to pay $1,000 so that he can be released. So I do not know where this corruption is going. Community activist Marvin Clarsen is calling on the community members to unite and put an end to police brutality towards members of the public. I don't know. My question is, when you arrest someone, you have the right to arrest that pers specific person for, for the wrongdoing. But where does the bidding come in? A woman cries and shouts because a cousin is shot dead and the police officer gets angry and tells her to shut up because he will F her up. We're not going to keep quiet. Enough is enough. We will take this to another level. A child was shot cold-bloodedly, handcuffed, you shoot somebody that is you have, you have beaten so far and you have handcuffed, you shoot him in the chest. A child. Speaking to Today on One, witnesses say that the officers drove off after the shooting and did not bother to see whether Darsip was still breathing or not while he was lying on the road in a pool of blood. You handcuff yourself and handcuff the suspect. The guy has nowhere to run. He handcuffed himself and he handcuffed the boy. Then he came with the boy here, took out his gun and on his shoe. Then he shot the boy here. Yeah. Then he just released, then he just 
opened himself and pushed the boy away after shooting the boy. They were even smelling alcohol. Yes, they were also under the influence of alcohol. All of us, we could see it. He was standing up there and then I was asking him why he shot the boy. He didn't say anything. He was even trying to fight with me. He was pushing me away. And then the other one, the shorter one with the gray shirt, he came down and then I told him, shorty, 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 your people shot my brother. And then he said, shot your brother, but why? How? And that's when he ran up. Efforts to get a comment from Nampol on the crime scene proved futile.